Hey, my name is Carlos Sepulveda and today I'm going to teach you how to create this abstract gradient animation for a button in Webflow. Okay, so let's start. Let's create one hull wrapper for our button and I'm going to create the, the screen wrapper. Screen button. So this screen button is going to have a minimum height of 100 bh and a width of 100 percent that's just for the wrapper and I'm going to create uh, a display flex box for it so I can center the button in the screen just this is just for centering the button there is like nothing fancy about this um, okay now I have uh, a div block which is going to be centered and this zip block is going to have the name of button okay the button itself I'm going to give it 200 pixels width and you can use whatever uh, measurement or units for the sizes here just for the convenience of this tutorial I'm going to use pixels and the height of 60 pixels now this button is going to contain two other layers so in order to uh, have a beautiful peel shape for this I'm going to give it a border radius of 100BW as I'm going to create the peel shape and also I'm going to make this a mask element and a position to be relative so whatever is going to be inside of this button is going to have that peel shape and is going to retain as a relative parent for the rest of the components inside okay so now let's create another layer this layer is going to be called button gradient and this button gradient is going to be uh, sorry not position is going to be uh, okay let, let's create first the color for it so it's going to be a, a nice gradient so let's use a classic blue to pink uh, color that's going to create this on this angle so that's going to look right and this other color is going to be this pink ish just around that that looks good and let's see how this is looking okay nice it's not looking anywhere so that's because this button needs to have certain dimensions uh, this button gradient I mean okay so the position for this one is going to be uh, relative and going to create the width of a minimum of 220 pixels and 220 pixels for the height and let's go on the button and let's make I create a, uh, a flex box so the button is going to be centering the, this layer okay so now we have this beautiful peel shape with a gradient there okay now on the button let's create another layer and this layer is going to be called button inner so this button inner is going to contain everything that is going to uh, for, for instance the, the text of the button so for this button inner let's make this absolute and let's position to cover all of the peel shape so it is it is taking the the parent shape at the moment and now let's create a, a white color maybe not white maybe something more around there that looks good that kind of cream color and inside of this um button inner I'm going to create a text and this text is going to be subscribe subscribe okay and this button is going to center the subscribe there okay okay we are halfway there now the button inner is going to create uh, some margin so the margin will give us this nice space so this is going to have this effect of a border 
just by creating this uh, this margin between the elements so let's make this bw and now you can see that we have this gradient background so what just uh, now we are all set what we need now is just uh some simple animation so let me show you how it's done so what you're going to do is when the button is being covered so let's create a, a hover animation so when the button is hovered button gradient i want the bottom gradient to rotate to let's say uh, 360 degrees and in a timestamp of one second and at the end I want it to just uh, get back to zero degrees and this is going to happen instantaneously and this is how it looks okay cool now let's going to save this and let's go out loop this one so that's how it looks now and for the hover out let's duplicate what we have right now for the bottom gradient effect and let's just remove the first one just let's keep the the last one and what it's going to do is that it's going to reset as soon as we just uh, hover out maybe for easing purposes let's go and um, make let's make, give it some duration just for the research so it looks like that it's going to rotate but as soon as I just hover out it just uh, gets back okay so we need a couple of things here just to make this a button let's now create the convert to link button um, link block so in this case we have this and let's override this blue text by making it darker and let's give it a okay 18 it's good medium and the class well I don't like how this looks but I'm just trying to make this a little more polish okay there you go so we have this cool uh, rotation of the gradient that is going to be looping and as soon as you hover out it just resets so I really hope that you find this tutorial helpful to create a nice hover state for a button please subscribe to the channel and see you in my next video